Hello everyone and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we're going to be taking a look at Spencer's, or Spencer Gifts as it used to be known. This particular store is in Prescott Gateway Mall in Prescott, Arizona. And even though this is a dead mall, the Spencer's is actually really busy and that was one of the reasons why I wanted to cover them. Also, just like the other store that we're going to take a look at later in the video, the signage and everything still says Spencer Gifts, which is a defunct name. They don't go by that anymore. Most of their stores now are just labeled Spencer's. Now, even though they started the switch over to just being known as Spencer's back in 2004, there's still a few stores like this one and the other one we're going to take a look at later in the video that still retain that 90s look and aesthetic, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm not covering Spencer's because they're dying, because they don't seem to be at all, actually. Even the two stores I'm going to show here are in dead malls, and they're very busy. The reason I'm actually covering them is because they have a much longer history than I realize, and I think a lot of other people even know about. For example, did you know that Spencer's is actually 71 years old? They actually existed before malls pretty much existed, so... We'll uh, jump back in the Wayback Machine, take a look at some of the real websites, and then we'll take a look at another store, so... Let's go way back. So this is SpencerGifts.com all the way back in 1997. But like I mentioned, the store is actually much older than that. It has its roots all the way back in 1947 in Easton, Pennsylvania, where Max Spencer Adler started uh, Spencer Gifts as a novelty merchandise mail order catalog. Now, unfortunately, most of the links on this old site don't work anymore. Except for one, this one that goes to Universal Online, because at one point, MCA, or maybe later on became Universal, owned Spencer Gifts, and that's why you found a lot of movie stuff. And this was actually kind of funny, this old website, but this is for a whole nother episode in X2 Moto. I'll go forward a little bit to 2001, and the Wayback Machine actually does a okay job at rendering the website from back then as well. And here, at this point, you can actually buy merchandise off their website. And uh, the special occasions section is kind of interesting. This turns out where they sell a lot of the stuff they're kind of known for. Their bachelor and bachelorette gifts and stuff like that. I was actually surprised, though, at the second store I went to, how much of this stuff was out in the open in the store. I believe on this website it says you can only order this stuff online. And... Like is pretty typical with looking a lot of things up on the Wayback Machine. A lot of the links don't work, unfortunately, so we can't find out about the uh, Mystery Woman kit there, unfortunately. God, I remember seeing all this same stuff, though, like when I was in high school and we used to go into Spencer's. I mean, even to this day, what visit to the mall isn't complete without going to Spencer's, but it's really just, this is the same stuff. They still have this same stuff in the store today. <laughs> Not having a lot of luck on the pictures and stuff working for on the items descriptions though. Really wanted to see that fishnet bustier. <laughs> Marital aid. <laughs> Look, there's just pages of this stuff. And I was surfing on this website for a bit and I noticed I seemed like there was more pages of this stuff than a lot of the other categories. Dude, look at that lady. She looks super excited to be wearing that hat. I was hoping if I looked at the product page, I, it, like a bigger picture would come up with her in that hat, just looking super excited. But unfortunately, the Wayback Machine disappointed here. Of course, the Oriental Massage Kit worked. And would that even fly anymore, the name of that product, Oriental Massage Kit? I don't think that's that's... PC anymore. Honestly, that looks like a lot of junk, though, for $24.99. That's what always cracked me up, too, about Spencer's. Is you're just much better off going to, like, an actual adult store, I think, and buying real stuff than a lot of this junk. I think it really is for gags. I, I hope people really aren't using this stuff. Let's, uh... Tame it up a little bit here. This is the extras. Looks like they have stickers and stationery. And look, there's SpongeBob. He was popular all the way back then in 2001. I kind of wish he would go away at this point. We got some Kiss stuff. Ozzy. Remember when that was relevant? Ozzy Osbourne had that like weird resurgence in the early 2000s. 
And we've got some Slipknot there. Slipknot's pretty cool. I like some of their older stuff. And then one page for this purse notepad thing. I wonder if anybody actually ever bought that. Now this stuff I always had fun looking at Spencer's even when I was a kid. This was like a, where they have like a lot of the kinetic um, sculptures and stuff like that. Um, for example, the Newton's Cradle thing here. I actually had one of these. I don't think I got it from Spencer's though. Laser pointers, all these kind of things. I used to love this crap when I was a kid. Another store I used to go to, Arizona Video and Laser, which was a video store I used to go to. They had a whole section of this stuff as well. These are still pretty fun to play with today. I think we have one of these laying around the house somewhere. One of these, I, the one we have, I think is called a pinhead or something like that. Unfortunately, on most of these though, the, the bigger pictures just aren't working. So we're stuck just looking at the little pictures of things. But again, I think this is stuff you can still buy at Spencer's today. And the prices seem pretty, pretty much the same as well. Now, what else is interesting is this old website has a history and milestone section, so you can kind of read more about the history here. And some of the milestones that are mentioned are kind of interesting because they're pieces of information, I think, that are lost to retail history. For example, the opening date of the first store there, or that Spencer's owned stores called Dappy and Glow. I've never heard of those before. Welcome to 2005. You guys remember the internet in 2005? <laughs> My god, with the spray paint thing. But that's kind of what they went to. This, you notice it says Spencer's now? That was the redesign, that spray painted logo. And check it out, guys. This old coupon still comes up. And I checked. The PDF link still works. So if you want to download this old expired coupon from 2005 and try and use it, feel free to do that, I guess. But let's check out the rest of the site now. And the Wayback Machine does a good job of rendering this one, and more incoming 2005, you guys remember tattoo stuff was still super popular back then. And it just keeps going. But like I mentioned, you can see at this point, it's now Spencer's, it's no longer Spencer Gifts. And that's unfortunate, because I do miss the old name. See, they got stuff for her, and if we click this little thing down here, I guess we can see stuff for him. No, oh, fantastic. That's that's every dude do a T, isn't it? Live nudes and beer bongs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But again, they still have the same crap at Spencer's. Now, we can also look at the company history here again, and this is interesting to look at because we notice some stuff missing. For example, there's no more mention of the Dappy or Glow stores, and there's also no more mention of the UK stores, because at this point they had all closed already, even though they were just opening them in 2001. And then there's also a lot of stuff here about the redesign they were going through, and again, this is pretty much what Spencer's looks like today, that garage door pulled down with the spray-painted logo, and if we take a look at the uh, pictures here, I mean, again, this is 2005, but that really doesn't look like anything different from today. That just looks like a Spencer's at a, at a newer mall. We can go back to the uh, history page here and take a look at the interior picture there. And you'll see that, that's, again, that's just exactly what Spencer's looks like now. A lot of t-shirts and stuff like that. All right, let's uh, go back to the present now. And here's the second store we're going to look at, another Spencer Gifts instead of Spencer's. I love that I found two stores that still have the uh, 90s aesthetic and logos and stuff. And I also love this t-shirt wall. A lot of these same t-shirts were here when I used to frequent Spencer's in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s. Same tile floor too. Like I mentioned, this location's at Metro Center Mall, which is very much a dead mall, but this Spencer's location was also very busy. It was a little bit difficult to film in. This kind of surprised me, the like Zelda stuff and Five Nights at Freddy's stuff right next to the, what is that, a pecker warmer? Willy warmer, that's what it is. <laughs> and the Love and Lamb and just, just boobs, boobs and dicks. <laughs> 
This the Spencers definitely seem to have this stuff way more out front in the open. It was kind of interesting while I was doing some research. I read at one point in Wyoming, at a, in a county, their sheriffs actually raided all the Spencer stores because they shouldn't have been displaying this stuff out in like plain view because of local laws and them not being a registered sex business. They they got won it back later on appeal, but still kind of shocking that this stuff's right out there. And I saw you know tons of parents taking their kids in there. I always have loved the lava lamp and psychedelic light up stuff section. This orb here though seemed like it was a little on the old side. It was pretty dusty and starting to feel kind of weak. It still worked though. It's on sale. Mm -hmm. Lots of black light stuff. And more novelty stuff. You guys need an inflatable lounger or edible bra and underwear. Here's a quick shot of some mall guts. They left the back door open there so you can see into the back of the store. Not, not as big as I thought it would be, to be real honest. Looks like they have most of their stock just right out up front. I remember as a kid one time we actually got kicked out of the mall because one of my friends bought a pair of the edible underwear and then was just walking around the mall <laughs> eating them. And apparently that was offensive and we were asked to leave. God, Spencer's is great. I'm happy to see that they seem to be doing well still even though a lot of malls seem to be in decline. Your incense burners and stuff and you get your beer bongs up there just like we saw on the 2005 website. If you ever needed a trip back in time, head to an older mall and go into the Spencers. It doesn't look like they've updated all of their stores yet, surprisingly. So many socks. It was unfortunate they didn't seem to carry any of these t-shirts in my size. I saw a lot of t-shirts I liked, but nothing that would fit me. You need to carry more 3X stuff, Spencers. Some of us fatties would buy more of your stuff. Should have rummaged in the clearance bin. I didn't even notice that until we were watching the footage later. gonna leave the tour here with these awesome neon lights in the back of the store I'm sure these have been here since the store opened and I, I'm a sucker for neon and malls anyways if you have any memories of Spencer's I'd love to hear about those down in the comments below and as always thanks for watching want to see your name here head on over to patreon.com slash retail archaeology to find out how you can help support the channel Hey, thanks for checking out my video on Spencer Gifts, or Spencers as it's now known. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and also follow at the social media links there, because that's the best way to get notifications on what's going on with the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.